Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you are watching Optometry with Khuram and today's topic is about that how we can design our own Snellen chart. You, you do not need to purchase the Snellen chart from the market. If you want to design your Snellen chart yourself, then this video is for you. So, you know very well about the brief introduction of the Snellen chart. You know very well that the test distance between uh, the test distance in Snellen chart is 6 meter. The distance between the uh, chart and the patient is 6 meter and the notations is in meters. The unit is meter, right? You know very well that in Snellen chart, the values are like this 6 over 60, 6 over 36. I have a detailed video on these topics, right? So this, you know very well that what does it mean uh, when we say this 6 and what, 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 what does it mean when we say this 60, right? Uh, this 36, right? Uh, and you have a brief, a detailed knowledge regarding the minute of arc. What is the minute of arc? If you do not have sufficient balance, if you don't have sufficient knowledge about uh, the minute of arc, watch this video. The link is in the description. So this is actually the formula. Uh, this five, this five is actually the minute of arc, right? You know very well that uh, every optotype on the Snellen chart has the complete optotype, the complete word, the complete optotype, I must say, uh, has uh, actually make the uh, five minute of arc, uh, the angle of five minute of arc on the nodal point, right? Uh, we have discussed in the last video, right? So, you know very well that every optotype on the Snellen chart makes five minute of arc of angle on the nodal point of the patient. For example, this is six by 60 is the top letter. So, this top letter and the value of this top letter is 6 by 60 and this top letter on the Snellen chart will make 5 minute of arc, will, will make an angle, will make an angle on the uh, nodal point of the patients which is 5 minute of arc but at 60 meter, right? And this 6 by 36, this second line, this second optotype uh, on the Snellen chart, these optotypes will make uh, angle of 5 minute of arc on the nodal point of the patient but at 36 meter right and respectively so you know very well you have knowledge about the minute of arc right so this five is minute of arc because every optotype on the snellen chart will make every complete optotype every one optotype will make a uh, five minute of arc angle on the nodal point of the patient so this is five right this is pi and this is six into the formula is five into pi and si over 60 into 180 this is the formula right I have I, I worked really hard on this formula right but you are not a mathematician you do not need to inculcate yourself involve yourself in the big mathematical formulas right so this is the formula with the help of this formula you can design your own uh, you know uh, Snellen chart so let's solve this so 5 into pi you know very well that the value of the pi is 3.17 so 5 into 3.14 the value of the pi is 3.14 right and when we say 60 into 180 it would be 10 800 right let's solve again 5 into 3.14 it will be 15.7 so 15.7 over 10800 so the answer will be 0 0.00145 radian so this value this 0 0.00145 is the value is in radian right so we have convert uh, the minute of arc into radians so the radians for 5 minute of arc is 0 0.00145 right so this is constant so now with the help of these values we can find the height and the width of the uh, optotypes on the Snellen chart for example this is the formula the next formula and with this formula we can find exactly the values the height and the width of the Snellen chart optotypes of the Snellen chart so this h this h is actually representing the height or you can say the width of the uh, optotype on the Snellen chart. For example, this is this E is the optotype. So we we want to know the height or the width right of the Snellen chart. So this is the formula for that. So h is actually the height or the width of the letter or the optotype. D is actually the denominator. For example, we want to know that what is actually the height or width of the top letter on the Snellen chart and you know the value of the top letter is 6 by 60 right so this is denominator denominator is 60 you see this is 60 so h we want to know d is equal to the denominator and denominator is 60 60 into 0 0.00145 so the answer will be 
0 0.087 meter, right? The value is in meter. 0 0.087 meter, and if you want to convert into centimeter, this will be 8.7 centimeter, or if you want to convert into the millimeter, it will be 87 millimeter, right? So the width, this width or the height of the first optotype on the Snellen chart, which is representing 6 by 60, will be 87 millimeter. So the next for the formula is h is equal to d into 0 0.00145 uh, this is constant and for example we want to know that what is actually the height or the width of the second letter on the snellen chart you know very well the value of the second line is 6 over 36 so denominator is 36 so h we want to know what is the value of h which is height or width d is denominator which is 36 and this is the constant value of 0. 0, 0, 0.00145 so if we multiply this value this will be 0 0.0522 meter right and if you want to convert this into centimeter this will be 5.22 centimeter right and if you want to convert this into millimeter this will be 52.2 millimeter so the the width for example this is the optotype and the value is 6 by 36 right and if you want to calculate the width or the height of this optotype this will this height or this width will be 52.2 millimeter and this is how you can draw you can design your own Snellen chart on a simple sheet and your assignment is you have to calculate that what is actually what will be the value of uh, the letter or the optotype which is 6 by 6 the last letter on the Snellen chart what will be the height or the width of the last letter on the Snellen chart this is your assignment